Yo, what's going on guys? It's T with Immersive Filmmaking. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to get a cinematic photo or video every time. No time to waste, so let's get straight into it. The first tip is going to be storytelling. With storytelling, you're going to get photos like this or like this. Now you guys can see that there is tons to look at. Not only are you looking at this photo and thinking, wow, the, the dogs are playing or this, this, and that, there is a story to be told within that. Not only are the photos extremely sharp, it's very easy to see what's going on, there's tons of emotion within it. That's what the storytelling is all about. When you introduce storytelling into both your photo or your film kind of concepts, what it does is encourage the viewer to be more engaged with what you have produced. This is cinematic. This is where cinema comes from. So that's going to be the first tip. This one's probably the most useful. But wait for number three because number three is also going to be very useful. Tip number two is also really great. Dramatic lighting and dramatic shadows is a great way to bring out a cinematic feel to your guys' photos and videos. Examples like this or like this are always great to play with. For me, I tend to crush my shadows more than I do with like highlighting my lights or so on and so forth. But even this photo right here gives off a very cinematic look or this photo that I've taken right here gives off a very cinematic look. And as you can see, one is very bright and one's very dark. So playing with your tones in terms of like shadows and your highlights and so on and so forth can totally change the entire aesthetic of a photo or a film concept that you might have. If you guys didn't see my last video, I'd highly recommend to go watch it as I did go over the dark and moody kind of tones. But within that, I kind of gave you a secret within the S curve to give you that cinematic dark moody look. So you guys can incorporate that into your next films and photos. And I'm pretty sure it'll look just as amazing as any of the photos that I've taken or any of your other favorite Instagrammers, photographers, filmmakers have made. Let's move on to tip number three, which I think is super important. So tons of people always ask me, how do I get my photos to look the way they look or how do I make them more interesting? They struggle to make it interesting. So what I'm going to tell you guys is when I do a photo or a film shoot, I go with the idea of a story or an editing style in mind. And what that means is that I know that I want to use certain colors. I know that I want a certain look. So I will go and shoot for that look. I won't go out there and just shoot blindly. Although I, I do encourage that you do have some creative fun and go shoot blindly. I also encourage if you're doing professional work or if you want to look more professional within your portfolio or so on and so forth, go out there with a plan. Your plan is going to be your editing style, right? So if you're shooting, let's just say you're shooting a car. I mainly shoot automotive. If you're shooting automotive stuff, cars aren't people. They can't show emotions. So what editing style can you take or where can you put this at to make it more interesting, right? Golden hour is obviously a great one. You could add tons of emotion between a car, golden hour, so on and so forth, right? But it's just a machine in all reality. So you can't really make it give you a face or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do editing style. If you're going to golden hour, make sure you have an edit ready or you have an idea of how you'd like to edit for the golden hour. So number three, I think is extremely important. When you go out with a plan and you go out with an editing style in mind, it truly transforms not only your workflow as it'll offer a faster workflow for you because you know what you're doing. It'll also offer tons more room for you to perfect that photo on the spot opposed to coming in and trying to fix things in post. So that's the tip number three. And I tell that one to all photographers and filmmakers as it truly it's like the most useful thing I've used in my entire film career. Let's move on to number four. So tip number four is just as important as the last two that I just told you guys. That's going to be composition and it might sound cliche and everybody tells you that but it's so important. Composition would consist of where you line your photo up on the rule of thirds grid. If you guys don't have that turned on on your camera, I'd highly recommend doing that. You could do it on your iPhone, your Android, and any mirrorless or DLSR camera, even an SLR camera can have the rule of thirds grid. So when you guys do this, you guys can totally shoot, you know, however you guys like. If you guys look at this example here and this example here, I don't shoot with them directly in the middle of my frame. I like to, comp I like to compose it more either on the right hand side, on the bottom lines, or on the top lines. It just all depends on where you guys would like it to be. With composition as well, shooting through things such as foreground is also a fantastic idea. This photo and this photo have shot with foreground. I would highly recommend adding some foreground and composing your subject, whether it's model, cars, wildlife, however, in an area that makes them the main subject while also giving them something to go against, if that makes sense. You could add things such as, you know, a red car, green bushes with a blue sky. Composition is very, very, very important, and it's one of the first things you learn within your entire photography and filmmaking career. Film and photos are a little different when you compose things, to be honest, but that's a video for another time. Let's get into tip number five. So this last tip 
is going to be a good one for you who like to run and gun. But even if you don't run and gun, this is still a great one. It's going to be perspective slash movement. Now you guys might be asking why is perspective slash movement? It's great. Imagine seeing what you can see from other people's eyes in a photo, if that makes sense. Again, you could add composition, you could add foreground, shoot from behind somebody looking at something. That's a great way to add emotion to a photo. It makes it far more cinematic. If you see me looking at this car and I'm in awe at this GTR or this Lamborghini Huracan and you shoot over my shoulder with me looking at that car, it adds so much of a story to it. Again, it makes it cinematic. It gives it a, a far greater story than just shooting dead on to a Huracan or GTR or whatever other car you guys are shooting or person or anything like that. You guys can also play with things such as movement. You'll see examples like this or like this. You can see that you can do it both with people and you can do it with cars. You can do it with whatever you guys like, with nature, wildlife, you guys can do it with anything. Your imagination is literally the only thing that limits you within this art. Things like that truly help bring a cinematic tone to your photos. That's really the five tips that I have for you guys. There's tons more. I will make it another video for you guys where I can give you guys more in-depth ways to make this. And by that, I just mean I'm going to go over the way that I edit my photos so you guys can see exactly how I make a photo like this turn into something like this, which is far more cinematic. But for the time being, I truly do appreciate all your guys' support. The last video to me blew up 700 views is insane to me. If you put 700 people in a room with me, I'd... I'd literally panic <laughs> so i truly do appreciate all the support if you guys want more tips tricks feel free to hit me up on instagram feel free to comment down below subscribe leave a like so on and so forth and i'll get these videos pushed out for you guys my next video i think we're gonna do something with smartphone photography and filmmaking let me know if you guys want to see that anyways peace